In this video, we are going to, to talk about why loop, uh, why loop in any uh, programming language uh, is the same. In why loop, what located inside the loop is repeated on and on until a certain condition is satisfied. When this certain condition is satisfied, the loop stops. Uh, the same applies also for lab view. Uh, uh, let's go to lab view and see how it works. Uh, before opening the lab view, maybe it's better to show you the while loop. While loop is a lo it is like that. Uh, the important things in uh, a while loop are loop iteration, uh, which is basically the number of iterations, the number of it uh, repetitions, uh, loop condition or condition uh, terminal, and also uh, by right clicking on this loop condition, uh, we can create a stop button. Let's go to the lab view. Uh, click on blank vi. The lab view opens. I press Ctrl T simultaneously, so I have both pages uh, in parallel. I can see both. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's uh, have a simple program before using uh, while uh, loop. Okay. Let's say we want. Uh, we want a program to produce a random number. Random number is created uh, here from programming, from numeric. Yeah, I have something like this. Random number. Uh, let's do some modification because the, ran uh, uh, the random number produced by this function, this vi, is between. Uh, uh, 0 and 1. I want to have my random number uh, between 0 and uh, let's say uh, 20. So I have to multiply the output of this vi by 20. Okay? Um, in fact, it is good that you get familiar also with numeric functions and when we come to numeric functions, you are familiar, but the purpose of this video is not to teach you how to use the numeric functions. Anyway, we are going to use uh, them here. Number, and create a constant, let's say, 20. Indicator. I uh, create an indicator, the indicator like this by right clicking on the output of the uh, multiplication uh, VI, but I can also create an indicator here by uh, going to, by right clicking, going to control palette, and going to numerical indicators, and selecting one of these. Uh, better to select the first one. But I prefer uh, I prefer to uh, create it in this way. It is easier. Just right clicking on the output of this and I have my indicator. Okay. If I run it, it runs just once. A random number uh, between 0 and 20 is created. Every time I write, it runs just once. But let's see. Now we are going to use while loop. We want to have this program run, run uh, until we push a certain button, uh, the stop button. Okay. In that case, we need a while loop. Okay, I go to the structures, I go to while loop, and 
and yeah, I drag it here. Okay. Um, I create a draw stop button. Let's see here. I want also to have uh, an indicator for the iteration number. This way I know that how many times actually I know how many random numbers have been produced when I press the stop button. Okay, then again I run. Yep. Stop. Okay. Actually, so many uh, random numbers have been produced. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, um, okay, I have to add two points here. Instead of using uh, using uh, while loop, I can simply remove it. And just use run continuously okay actually uh, it is repeated until I press the stop Actu uh, the abort execution of lab view it is stops but in this case I don't know how many numbers uh, have been produced till I push this button of course I can add some other commands here to see the number of rep repetitions. It is possible, but uh, I think using while loop in this case make more sense. The other point I have to add is in this condition, uh, the name uh, loop condition. I can change it from stop if true to continue if true. You see here the, uh, the loop is repeated on and on until I press the stop. Then it stops. Then it is a stop if true. But we can change it to continue if true. It means what? It means when I press this, uh, this stop button here, let's run it. Okay. Maybe I should okay it is good to know that you can uh, put a probe here you see the value is false okay when I push the stop button okay it's a little slow oh, uh, okay change to true it is stopped when it changed to true the loop is stopped let's see it again okay I push stop. This turned to true and the loop is stopped. And when a true value is passed to this condition, the loop is stops. But I can change it. How? I can right click and continue if true. Okay? In this case, when a true value is passed, the loop starts to continue. Actually, or a start to execute. But you see, if, in this case, if I create a controller, it's interesting to know. See, there will be no stop button anymore because the function will be different. Anyway, I don't think that using this condition in this mode is so useful or, or it can be helpful. Then I don't uh, show you an example for that, but it is uh, actually good that uh, good to know it. Be aware of this. Uh, uh, actually, this condition here. Just know it. Uh, I undo it. Uh, okay, that was the video about the while loop. I hope uh, that was helpful. Okay, thank you for watching.